I just need a little weed in the back rub. Zombies with the D's in the bathtub. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Cannibal, and today we're going to be diving into a, I guess, quote-unquote roadmap. It's probably going to be in the title somewhere um, and on the thumbnail as well. But it's basically just a roadmap or a guide as to what banners are coming to Global before, basically before the Christmas and New Year celebrations, just because we've already seen the next four banners that we're going to get because of jp already getting them so i'm basically just going to go over review the units show you what kind of to expect what times to expect them more or less um but it's basically just going to be a breakdown of the banners what's all going to come with them what uh and what days they would more than likely come on and i guess technically what order they would come in because on jp they came out in a separate order than they did on global because of this celebration coming up the ultimate gohan is out of place for like the rotation that i feel like global is going to get which obviously could be completely different they could still keep the same exact order i just don't think it's really smart to do that but that's besides the point we'll uh we'll go ahead and dive in so we obviously have one more lr we don't know if it's going to be a legendary summon or if it's going to be another dual dokkan fest um or just like a like how the part two for the fifth year anniversary was we don't know if it's just going to be like a, a top banner with two lrs on it we don't know but that banner is expected to drop on um probably well i clicked on it i clicked on my calendar and it's not showing on the screen but whatever um it'll probably show up on either tuesday the 15th or wednesday the 16th are the two days that I would expect it to go because then that gives technically so the banner came out on Saturday the 29th which is it was technically Sunday at like 2 a.m. on the 30th so I'm expecting 14th 15th 16th are all days that the banner could um, could go live for the new unit as part two of the celebration for the, the worldwide campaign um, but it could be maybe on the 13th, I don't know. So any any 13, 14, 15, or 16 day, any of those dates probably is when to expect it. Um, and then that banner will last for another two and a half weeks, I would assume. And then this is the next banner that's probably gonna be after that Legendary Summon or part two Dual Dokkan Fest. Um, this is the Golden Week celebration that was on JP for the um, base form Gotenks who transformed into Super Saiyan and then transforms uh, again into Super Saiyan 3. So he goes from Gotenks to Super Saiyan Gotenks to Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. He's really good in a Super Saiyan 3 form. Not so good and not so good. Or they're like better than average, but they're not like world beaters or anything like that. But this one, he's a phenomenal card. And then we, we're also gonna get the Majin Buu and Evil Buu card. Um, which transforms into pure evil boo and then super boo. Um, <clears throat> I'm expecting to get those probably sometime on the... Looking at the calendar, it's either going to be like the 30th of September, the 30th, the 1st, Either the 30th or the 1st, or it could just be the entire week after, where it's the 4th, 5th, and 6th of October. Um, just because that would kind of give... If it's the 4th, 5th, or 6th, that means that the the Dual Dokkan Fest and the Legendary Top Banner or the Part 2 Dual, Con, Dual Dokkan Fest, they're going to be given three weeks each for a banner. Which is... It's either two and a half to three weeks is normally how long banners last, or how long they are they stay up. So that could make sense. So it could be either the 30th or the 1st or 4th, 5th, and 6th or 7th really. Um, could be any, any time in that range. About two, two and a half weeks later. So I have to scroll all the way down to the bottom because Ultimate Gohan is obviously out of order like I said. Um, and Ultimate Gohan or Gohan Teen that transforms into Ultimate Gohan is the best you are in the game. I think it's fairly easy. Obviously, Cooler is still up there. Um, I feel like Cooler is definitely number two. But I feel like this guy is definitely 
top right now even even though he's only been out on on jp for a little over a month he's still shown that he definitely is like the best tur in the game in my opinion and i expect that we're going to get him immediately after the the dual dokkan fest with the um gohan or go tanks in the boo the super boo um just because it's still technically in the majin boo saga celebration and it doesn't make sense for them to go Majin Buu Saga celebration for the worldwide campaign. Do an extra Majin Buu Dual Dokkan Fest banner with the uh, Gotenks and Buu. And then cut in two Dragon Ball Super banners. And then put him at like the end of November, beginning of December. It just doesn't make sense. Um, even though that's technically how the order was on JP. The reason that he even released this close to the celebration is because the celebration is Majin Buu themed. So it made sense. And like we already have, uh, where is it at? Um, so we have these two, and then also from the Golden Week banner up at the top, or their uh, they're like easy A's and stuff. Um, we've already got the the three free units from the the story mission that they had. So like we already have the units and the stuff that we're getting from the story missions for these two. We just don't have the actual units and their banners so um and we also don't have this one but i'm assuming that this one would drop whenever he drops which based on the calendar if so if gotenks and boo drop theoretically on the um let's say let's say they drop on the fifth monday monday october 5th i would say either the 19th or the 20th is whenever ultimate go home would drop um, just because it's, like I said, it's about two weeks after, um, it would give it, give the banner plenty of time for a dual doke on fest just because I'm assuming they're going to do, so this currently celebration is a dual doke on fest. It's either going to go T.O.P. or another dual doke on fest and then immediately into another dual doke on fest. So I'm, I have more to discuss in a separate video for what I think the next LR is going to be or the next unit as part of the part two celebration is going to be that's going to be in the separate video because there's a lot of depth to it there can, there's a lot of options that it could be but i personally feel like it's going to be a a top um a top summon banner just because they're gonna they're not gonna do three dual dokkan fests in a row on global they're they're just not going to especially if back-to-back -back banners are lr dual dokkan fest and then we get the go tanks and the boo which are the golden wing celebration dual dokkan fest it just doesn't make sense um i feel like it makes more sense to have a top or a top banner um in between the two dual dokkan fests because then we're going to get a single dual dokkan fest um for the ultimate gohan right after so i don't think they'd do four in a row just do, just dokkan fest in general um and then after ultimate gohan I feel like it's gonna obviously it goes back up for us or for JP but I feel like it's gonna start to go into the super I feel like that's gonna be the end of the Majin Buu Saga celebration is close to the end of October with Ultimate Gohan's banner dropping I think that's gonna be the end of the Majin Buu Saga and then they're gonna cut it off and shift gears and go to the Super Saga to give us this LR um, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Evolved Vegeta um, I mean, this one came out June 30th, 2020. They're really, really a fantastic unit. Um, and I feel like it just makes sense for them to cut off Majin Buu Saga with Ultimate Gohan because there aren't any new units that we know of that are coming for Majin Buu Saga other than the Part 2 LR. Um, and that's, that's all we know. And I don't think they're just going to continue... To give us Majin Buu Saga units whenever we still haven't gotten this card and the next card, which is uh, Full Power Gear and LR Full Power Gear, and they're both from the Super the Tournament the Tournament of Power arc. So, I mean, I feel like they're not just gonna leave those until New Year's or right after New Year's for like so like we're getting those banners whenever JP's getting their sixth year anniversary. I don't think that makes much sense. Um, I feel like these guys are definitely coming sometime in. The beginning of November, um, either the first or second week of November, is when I expect them. And so it'll either be um, if Ultimate Gohan comes out, I'm assuming on the 19th or 20th. I would say 
that they would come out on either the second or third. Um, and then they will go until the 16th and 17th whenever Full Power Jiren will come out. Full Power Jiren will more than likely last from the 16th and 17th all the way till the end of November on the 30th and the first day of December because normally so what happened last year is that we got the it was like the I can't remember if it was exactly the Christmas celebration banner but there's some celebration in, in December for global I can't remember exactly what it is but uh, we got the the blue Kaioken Goku for as a global first that JP later got in like April on on the JP side <clears throat> um, I feel like after Jiren drops so obviously we don't know any more units that could come out on banners after that because they haven't been confirmed on JP yet that being said I feel like it is going to be super related somehow um, I don't know necessarily what unit it could be I don't have any uh, really ideas for it but that is also three months from now so we have plenty of time to think of it plenty of time to think like find rumors leaks uh predictions things like that and to discuss it but i honestly feel like jiren is going to be the last banner out of the four four banners that are coming up for global that jp has already had um jiren's gonna be the last one he's i'm gonna go ahead and say other than super, the strength super vegeta the new one he's the best seller in the game um i feel like that's pretty pretty notable pretty easy to understand um, but he will definitely be coming out either the 16th or 17th of November or somewhere in the middle of November. Um, and then he'll probably go to right at the beginning of December, the end of November, very beginning of December. And then we will probably get like a two day break. Uh, or we might get like a week break and they might do something like they did with the, uh, with JP where for like one week they would drop an LR banner like a top banner and it was like focused on one LR um so like I know they did it for the the Fizz Super Saiyan Trunks they did it for Fizz Bardock they did it for the trio the LR uh the Int trio GT trio um so we could see like a filler banner like that for like a week maybe um and it fill in between like this Jiren and this Jiren and like another uh, new unit that's going to be coming out that's for the celebration that's on global like we might get a global first who knows um and i feel like that banner whichever whichever one comes out at the beginning of december will stay for three weeks leading up to the christmas celebration and banners um and christmas slash new year's banners um which we have no idea what they are yet i feel like on the jp side it's gonna be uh, like so whenever we finish the campaign, whatever Dual Dokkan Fest they get immediately after the Majin Buu Saga campaign, I feel like is the Dual Dokkan Fest we're going to get for the New Year's on Global. Because I'm pretty sure that's how it was with last year's um, New Year's New Year's banners, which were um, Super Saiyan 2 Transforming Goku and Super, and Super Saiyan 2 Transforming Vegeta. That transform into Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Majin Vegeta. Um, they came out like almost immediately after this celebration like like last year the 300 million down celebration the uh, androids were the top banner and then almost positive the next banner actually we can let's take a nope nope let's take a look actually or is this this covers everything for fifth year let's go to fourth year um let's just check so they had tech broly Okay, so that's the celebration. That's the 300 million dollar celebration. So we LR Gohan, LR Cell, and then right after them we got the LR Androids. So okay, we actually got um, Int Gohan, the future Gohan, and then what did we get? We got the Awakenings for the Go Tanks. Okay, so that was like Halloween themed. Got another World Tournament. And then they had cooler. Dang, when did? Wow, I'm way. I thought they came out way later than that. 
Yeah, there they are. When do they come out? Oh, they were New Year's for... That's what I'm confusing with. Okay, never mind, never mind. Forget everything I just said uh, in the last part of the video. Um, we got them... We got them this year. Sorry, I was getting... I was getting confused on the banners. But... I do expect after Jiren, we're either going to get a LR banner for like a week, like a filler one, or we might get a new global exclusive. Um, I'm definitely going to go more in depth as on that and like the discussions as time gets closer to, the, to that time, like as, as we get closer to those banners. Um, but other than that, guys, that's all I have for this video. Uh, thank you for all for watching. If you like the video, please be sure to leave a like. Um, if you enjoy the content, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more of the videos. Um, I love doing these news videos. We have a ton of discussion on almost all the news and updates videos that I put out. Um, and I love that. I love having fresh ideas and, uh, it just really gets me going. It really gets me excited for the game. Hopefully some things that we've discussed happen in the future. But other than that, guys, that'll be it for this video and I will see you all in the next one.